when your closet is filled with pieces that you love, styling up becomes the second nature. It's in a closet here on Talent Initiative Uganda with me, your one and only Malaysia Powers. On Talent Initiative Uganda, it's where we bring to you your favorite people and celebrities and they get to share with us their sense of fashion. As we do it every single Saturday here, if you've just joined in, please don't forget to subscribe on this very YouTube channel. You click on the notification bell so that you get notified wherever programs go up. And hey, you can find us on Facebook at Talent Initiative Uganda, on Instagram at Talent Initiative Uganda. And yes, you can follow me to at Monesha Powers on Facebook, Monesha Powers on Instagram, and Monesha Soraya on Twitter. As I told you, every single Saturday, we have a very special guest to share with us their sense of fashion as we get to learn. Today I have a very beautiful sister. She's going to be sharing with us a lot, a lot, and we are going to learn a lot. You're most welcome. Thank you. You look good. Thank you. Which style is this today? Uh, I'm, I'm putting on an off shoulder. Okay. Yeah. With a jumper. It is sleeveless. Yeah, I'm putting on my jumper on and a blue jean. Oh, yeah. blue jean. How are you? What's your name? I'm Black Trisha, and I'm doing well. Black Trisha. Mm. Why that color of a wig today? Uh, this color, I like, uh, this is a uh, brown, coffee yeah, brown. Coffee brown. Yeah. It's a dark brown and it is actually a bit silent. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't show. So I like things that are not too shouting. Black my doesn't head, shout, why not black? My head, I also like black, actually. I do put on wigs that are black okay. and also place hair that is okay. black in color. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So black, Specifically today, we are going to be talking about uh, makeup and wigs. Because yeah, we have sisters there, and you know, and they're not so good when it comes to makeup. They want to learn. So, Black Trisha, you do makeup. You're a Black Trisha, wherever you are. Yeah. So let's first. Let me first ask you about your sense of fashion. What does better for you? Do you love jeans or you, you know, you jiggle the, the trousers and. Um, I'm the person of trousers. Okay. Yeah, actually, I think I do less with um, maybe let me say like dresses, okay. skirts, anything like that. So I do eat more in trousers. Okay. And I uh, always love crop tops. Okay. Crop yes. Because you have the figure. Not everyone can do crop <laughs> oh tops, please. Really? <laughs> okay, okay. So that's. Uh, I also like sneakers. Okay. So I always put on my jeans, doing on the crop tops. Let it be sleeveless. Let it be your shoulder. Let it be anything or. But it's always a short top, you know. So that's what I always go with, and I also prefer something that is easy for me because I don't want to put on something that is heavy, something that that's gonna make me uncomfortable. Un uncomfortable. Yeah. So that's why I always move on to something that is so light, and that's why. It's okay. Okay. I I actually thought mm -hmm. that we have uh, the weather tells us what to put on for a specific day. Mm -hmm. Let's take a for instance, it's raining and in a crop top. When it's raining, okay, that could be a bad day for me. Uh -huh. Maybe when it's raining, but I always have my jumpers. I always oh. carry them. So it, it's so your jumper is that one thing you never forget yeah, at home. Yeah, I don't forget my jumper. Okay. Mm. All right. So black Trisha. Uh, we know we have different uh, fashionistas around the world mm. and around the country as well. Mm -hmm. So who is that one person that dresses to kill for you? Well, right now here in Uganda. Uh, I, I think I like Spice Lena because she's very simplistic. Like she has that simplicity. Okay. Whenever she's putting on her clothes, yep. uh, she has the sense of passion. Okay. And uh, uh, whoever designs her, I, I also hear that she also designs her. So yeah, she, she does. She does. She does. Yeah. 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 So I like the way she puts on because she doesn't put on bulk. Like whenever you see her, she's always putting on simple. But simple smart. Stuff. But point. smart. Yeah. Yeah. Because of her extent, uh, she had a. You know, she's into modeling something, like branding of clothes, mm -hmm. yeah. So she has a post somewhere mm -hmm. on her social media platform. She was mm -hmm. putting on a green kitenji, mm -hmm. that's African wear. Mm -hmm. And she was so smart, you know, simple, smart, she and point, smart. always on point. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Black Trisha, mm -hmm. you know, we have problems as ladies when it comes to, you know, matching the makeup with our skin. Actually, your makeup looks good, your eyebrow looks lit. Thank you, lit. thank you. You're welcome, thank you. you're welcome. So I want us to discuss about... Uh, makeup basically what should we start with because you you are makeup artist uh, i think what we can start with like our skin color our skin tone skin like, tone of course yeah. of course skin tone yeah because makeup basically makeup 
basically you have to uh, based on what really you look like like what is the color of your so skin are you chair? dark are you light are you chocolate are you you know it depends on the color of your skin because we're seeing most of the people that do make up but really yeah there are scenarios you find now a girl and she has made up herself very well she's dark skinned than i am mm-hmm. and in face mm-hmm. she's beyonce mm-hmm. but other places she's not is it because she doesn't know what to match with her body or because it's her style or in most times it's all about ignorance okay yeah most of the girls out there most of their women out there are ignorant about their skins okay they might know about makeup a little bit or even knowing it but if you know makeup like when you are a makeup artist i think you know what you're doing and i think you know what is really best for your skin now let's talk let's talk about let's not talk about makeup artists mm. let's talk about a girl or a person a woman basically at home and you know she wants to make up every single morning before she leaves her home mm-hmm. what should she know what should she put in her consideration before doing anything uh, uh, that girl or that lady or that woman out there when you want to get makeup on first know about your skin and the skin first, tone yeah. the skin tone and where you're going to buy your products okay yeah actually there are girls who go out to a beauty shops or the beauty stores that sell makeup products they go there but they just like let me say that they're going to get foundation they just get any kind of foundation they but don't most, most of the times most mm. of the times when a woman goes mm. Uh, to those beauty centers where they sell the makeup and whatsoever. Mm. Basically, if you find someone who is really knowing what they are doing, they really help you and be like, no, this won't match your skin, mm. this will match your skin, because uh, according to your skin, this is your skin tone, your this number, so you take this and this. Well, right now in the shops, we have so the, like, the unprofessionals, many people are unprofessional. So when you go into those stores, okay. you can find out that there are people who sell those products and they know nothing. Actually, they are ignorant about the products but they just they just sell them out okay but they don't know about the products so when you go there you will go and like you know i need my foundation i need um the products that i'm gonna use to make up myself but you don't know which really well, like what, what, what exactly take, what is going. needed for me to do my makeup they just go there i need foundation i need concealer i need this pencil like, they don't know just because they heard of it and just because they know it's what is used on the skin okay but they don't consider the tonation or the color of their skin okay let's have a short commercial break but as we get back you're going to be sharing with us more about uh, makeup and basically the weeks for the week people mm-hmm. let's go into a short commercial break and we get back Welcome back from the short commercial break. It's Talent Initiative Uganda. If you've just joined in, please don't forget to subscribe. Click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever programs go up. And hey, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Talent Initiative Uganda. On Instagram at Talent Initiative Uganda. It's in the closet, a solution to your fashion problems. And yes, as we do it every single Saturday, today I have Black Trish with us in the house and she was sharing with us about makeup basically because to be fashioned up or styled up you have to be knowing what to match with your skin and how really to look good when you're a woman i'm talking about women however they are makeup for men not so they are still makeup for men all right so trisha you're going to be sharing with us uh eyebrows you know we, we have different kinds of eyebrows and you find let me say that the one you're having and you, ha- you find some long eyebrows, you have fine short eyebrows, you find thin eyebrows, and you find, you know. Mm. So what determines what for a, a person to wear a different eyebrow? Well, what determines an eyebrow? I think it is all about the nature of the someone's first. eyebrow. Oh. Besides the face. Okay. But the nature of someone's eyebrow. And also, how wide is her face? Okay. How narrow is her face? No, okay. How big? Like, how slim? How slender? You know? We have to consider all those things whenever we're drawing eyebrows because you won't find yeah. someone with like a slim face, very very small face, and then a big you do a big bro. Okay. Yes, your bra might be good. Mm-hmm. It might be like. But it doesn't cute, match with with your skin. But you, the, the nature of your face, okay. like how big, how wide, like how narrow, when it doesn't really match. So you have to always consider like somebody's face. Okay. When you're drawing the eyebrows. Yes. You know you normally have uh, stubborn clients. Mm. 
uh, they want that lighter eyebrow. Mm -hmm. Yet seriously, uh, the, she has got the thick one. Yeah, she, she has a thick eyebrow. Leave her on it being thick, mm -hmm. but when she has a wider face and she wants a very narrow eyebrow. Oh, we always get, we always get such people, like kinds of people. Mm -hmm. She has to come and instruct you what to do. But when you look in actual senses, she won't look good after after good. everything. Yeah. yeah. So you always have to tell them politely and tell them how when you know you know when you're professional, you have to instruct them and you also have to recommend them like how good it is and how bad it is like politely and then I know as time goes on you reach to an agreement. Okay, so let's talk about foundation and again to give uh, some of uh, some 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 uh, you know about foundation like. Uh, Recommendations about uh, foundation, you're going to be sharing with us. So specifically, let me say I'm number two. Mm -hmm. when, when we talk about numbers, actually we mean the number of your tone of your skin. Because brown people are number one, then we have number two and then number three, the darkest people, right? So let's consider number two. You give them a, a piece of a recommendation, I'm sorry, a recommendation of foundation. Yep. Well, if you're dark, by the way, right now I think we're having at least at least four shades yeah four shades yeah, yeah, yeah yeah because yeah. we've got all those darkest people yeah. and we've got the dark people mm -hmm. we've got the chocolate people we've got the light skin people and, and we've also brown. got those very very brown yeah sort of like the western eyes okay. mm -hmm. so i think actually about 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 the foundation got Fuda. The foundation Buddha. besides that we have Mati foundation yeah. besides that we have mac Okay. Those are all good. Yeah, good foundations. Yeah. Actually, I've yeah, used much before. Yeah. Kiss Beauty is also good. Actually, I also use Kiss Beauty. That okay. is a good foundation for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk about uh, eyelashes. Mm -hmm. You know, you find a woman. Mm -hmm. Let me first ask is it that anyone with eyeshadow is not supposed to put on eyelashes or you can put on your eyelashes without eyeshadow? You can put on your lashes without shadows. Okay, okay. Mm. So you find a person, she's mm. having uh, lashes. Mm. So when the lashes are too, like too much, mm. they're too thick long, long, too thick, mm. and she has those tiny eyes. Mm. So when, when you look at her from a distance, it's as if her eyes are blind. Yeah, like we say, not all people have that sense of passion, and uh, we've got different interests. And yeah, yeah, we're here at all of that problem yeah, for them. We have, we have different interests. Yeah. We can find that person, like, they feel like when they put on those long, thick lashes, lashes. they feel like they're, they're owning the world. Okay. But in actual senses, for us who see them, we see like, it's not good. Like, okay. it's not looking nice on them. So, it's always better for those people to know how their eyes are yeah the size of your eyes the of size course. of your eyes yes. before you, you put on your that lashes, false lashes. Mm -hmm. yeah so you always have to consider that it's not that you always have to put on any lash you know the, those false lashes that come along yeah yeah they're even simple lashes mm -hmm. like you feel like you don't have yet you're having them so let's let's have recommendations of uh of some some eyelashes and then we, we go to the concealer uh, yeah about the lashes of course like all the com i mean the companies all the groups those who do makeup, makeup have lashes of course have lashes yeah. like matt has, has lashes. lashes mac has lashes yeah Huda has Lash, lashes yeah. kiss beauty has la there are many many brands okay. many brands of lashes so just what we have to say is that when you get a lash whichever brand whichever brand just know if it is light and actually it depends where you're going where you're going function, and the size the function, of your eyes are you going to work place okay. are you going to work and which kind of work wow. okay. you get her. so it's always better for you guys to know where am i heading to i'm going to an office why do you have to put on thick long lashes long lashes and as if you're going you for a photo shoot like, just next to your natural lashes okay. the light lashes and if i tell you it's a party Sometimes it is okay, just if I told you have those big white eyes, it's okay. 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 But you can find out there is a way. Like, like the lashes are too long, the small lashes are eyes, too big, you know, too long, too, too thick, thick for her. Yeah, yeah, they don't. So let me ask, like, wait, we, we know when you you buy the lashes, they normally come with glue, mm. and some people use bond. I personally, when I'm making up someone, I use bond because mm. bond is better, right? Mm. So. For how long should someone watching this keep their lashes on? Because there yeah, we have we have people mm. who don't who don't wash their faces. Mm. They just use a towel and you know. <laughs> well, I for one, I don't I don't 
I don't uh, keep lashes for a night or 24 hours. I don't. Okay. Do you know why? Because I, I got that. I always have scratch my eyes, okay. you know. So I can't keep them on because if at all I say that I'm gonna keep my lashes on, like maybe for two days, I fail okay. because I but got, some people can I got do that habit. But still, people can do it. Right? Yes, yep. I got that habit of scratching my eyes. Okay. So I find out that I have, I pull it off and all okay. that. So you find someone. So you find bed, someone. You find someone mm. when she has lashes. Mm. Maybe she has kept them for a month. Maybe she removes after a week and then puts them back. Mm. And they're now looking so old. Mm. They are torn out. You know. So basically, when it's not looking good, mm. what idea could you give them? Well, about those people, I think it's always better. By the way, that uh, expensive lashes. Yeah, and cheaper lashes at three thousand. Yeah, when you know. get a cheaper lash. Like lashes, the quality is poles, different. Of course, the yeah. quality is really, really poor. Yeah. Like, okay, it's not poor, but it's not yeah, it's the poor. same it's quality. Poor. It's not the same quality as an expensive one. Yeah? Yeah. So I always prefer to go with expensive lashes because at least you can put it to raise. But you have, take up for instance, you have a you have a client and you know she's like no me I want those ones are 3k according to my budget and the next day she comes and tells you know what your lashes are so fake. Like seriously. If you tell me that you want those cheaper lashes, of course I have to give them to you. But still, I tell you, this doesn't last longer. Yeah. They don't last longer because they are going to get spoiled okay. uh, in a few days okay. or in a few, like, uh, a little period. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much, Black Trish. Any last word to our dear viewers? Well, any last la uh, Sorry, any last word, any last word? Um, but but before we wrap up the show, actually mm. I'd forgotten about something. Let's talk about the wigs before I go. Because seriously, this is another problem to many people. Mm. I've seen many, 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 many ladies. Mm. Like the, she's walking the wig. Come on, goes off. I think that also depends on tightening it. Like the day tiny tighten it up. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's always good. And sometimes it's always like to to prevent such things or to avoid such things. Always place pins. Pins yeah. on, around around your around, your yeah. ring. inside when they don't show. Okay, so what what is that main cause that when someone buys a wig and they comb it, mm. you know, are they foils or what? They fall off. They fall off. I don't know. They pluck off. Yeah, they pluck off. Yeah, Even not, off. yeah, yeah, right. Oh, about that, I think it's also depend. It also depends on the wig the nature of the wig. Okay. The nature of the net. Okay. Like what did they use to do that wig, and also the hair. Okay. The hair they used to do that wig. Okay. Yeah, sometimes you might find it was cheaper. It was not even synthetic or anything like most also like actually you always expect something expensive okay. but sometimes they give us some things which are cheaper you get it you can so, go so there and they tell on. you that you know what how was i need this week and you tell me this is 200 and you know, but in actual senses it is cheaper, cheaper. no yeah. It looks expensive but because you don't it actually cheap. it comes because to I when you don't know, know what quality, you want yeah. and you don't know the quality. Mm. So let me ask what uh, what determines someone to put on a can everyone put on a wig or you we basically have certain group of heads, eh? Let me say group of heads that are supposed to be putting on the wig. Mm, I for one I think everyone can put on a wig. But some people put it on and you know that some people just don't know how to put them on. Okay. Yeah, I okay. think some people just don't know how to put them on. But I think everyone, everyone can put on a wig. Okay, any recommendations for wig? We have Ivy Wigs. Mm -hmm. She has some nice wigs. You can find her at Ivy Wigs on Instagram, Ivy Wigs on Facebook. Ivy, Ivy, <laughs> Ivy Wigs, everywhere you go. Mm. She has some nice wigs. Please go and find out more and get to know how to treat a wig, mm. how to take care of it. What, you know? Different things about wig that has been Trisha today. Trisha, mm -hmm. thank you so much for your time. Any last words before? Uh, yeah, about the last word. Um, makeup, makeup is good. People just know about your skin tones. Go if you go to any shop, any you know, any beauty store, go there, ask them. Like, I need this shade. I need the shade that matches with my skin. Yeah? You can also see that. Yeah. And the other thing, guys, I got a YouTube channel. Go and follow me. I do makeup tutorials. YouTube. I use Black Trisha on every platform, every social media platform. Thank you so much, Black Trish. That has been it for today with me, one and only Monesha Paz in the closet here on Talent Initiative Uganda. Every single Saturday, whoever keeps watching or viewing this, we love you so much. Thank you for your support. Until we meet again, peace.